Hi, you what's up? You might be wondering what I have with a knife, potato, and a uh, plate here. You might be wondering what I'm going to be doing. Well, I'm going to go on a raw potato diet and then stab myself. No, I'm just kidding. Um, today is going to be the start of my mealworm breeding plan. And so, I'm kind of cutting this potato up for food for him. I'm sorry, this will just be a moment. Alright, anyway, uh, here is the head that we aren't going to use. And we have a bunch of potatoes. So, while we're walking back to my room, because I'm too lazy to cut this out, y'all can see the potatoes. And we're about to see the mealworm cage. Now, um, I've tried breeding mealworms before, but was unsuccessful. Uh, but now I figured out that, uh, you can, like, keep them in only oats for, like, oatmeal and shit. And so, I'm going to do that. So, um, let me go ahead and show you really quickly. Um... Here are the mealworms. I got about 75 superworms in here. It actually looks like some of them have shed. Um, let's check this out. Yeah, it looks like we've got some that in here that shed. I'm sorry, I didn't show that to y'all. Anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing today is putting in a potato for food for them. And hopefully they'll enjoy that. Maybe they won't. They might rise against me and come kill me in my sleep. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Now, what what I've heard is that it's kind of hard to breed them. And people tell me um, that it'll take me about a week to breed them. Uh, especially these ones starting at these size. So, um, yeah. Here, scoot over a little, buddy. Alright, so as you can see, I have inserted numero doso potatoes. And it looks like this guy here is already getting interested. But, um, in later videos, hopefully... I will be receiving some mealworm pupa, beetles, and then hopefully mealworm babies. So, um, yeah, just be hoping that I can get some stuff. Oh, he's starting to dig in. Um, and yeah. Now, see, this may not look like 75, but you've got to remember, these are burrowing creatures. And so they're probably like all, all over the freaking place. And, um, so, yeah, and why am I breeding mealworms? So that I can feed Geico. Actually, Spyro's too small, but, uh, Jimmy, too. I'll give y'all a closer look at Jimmy. She's just kind of relaxing in her cage right now. Hey, Jimmy. How's your, how are you doing? Uh, she's doing fine. Um... Oh, we got two mealworms chowing down now. Anyway, um, sad news, everyone. Uh, the house geckos died. Um, I don't really know what was wrong with them. But they're gone. And also, um, I've been told that it's good to keep mealworms near light. And there would be light there. However, uh, yeah, there is light right there. So, um, but 
I'm not exactly sure because I've got I've got two different opinions. I've got people saying that uh, keep them near light, they'll grow up really fast, turn into flies, and then you'll have a infestation problem. And then the uh, the second opinion is it helps them breed faster. So if y'all could please leave comments down there telling me which opinion is the uh, the smarter one, then please do. But for now I'm gonna be keeping them up there with all the reptile supplies where it's uh, not heated, but it's still like room temperature. So um, as you can see, they're all digging into the potatoes and uh, two part video. Y'all are gonna get to see me put a potato into the cricket cage. So if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna put the camera down really quick. And uh, we just got back from the uh, pet store today and picked up about 250 large crickets. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda scoot y'all over here just a little bit. Move this back. And make sure I don't squish anyone. And then we're just gonna put this one in the corner. Look out, little guy. All right, now we've got, here, I want y'all to explore these new, uh, I want y'all to go on to the potato and eat it because it'll be a good experience before you die. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like the crickets, some of the crickets are starting to like this. And also, could y'all please go down there? And I got I got good comments. Thank you y'all for sending me messages about um, breeding mealworm tips. But remember to go down there and comment about the um the the light question. And please tell me any tips that you have about breeding crickets. And um I'm trying to get a hold of some eco earth and uh, some kind of a topsoil uh, because I heard that's better to breed in them than calcium sand. I just figured calcium sand would be good because you know it's calcium, but uh, anyway, um, yes, that's the crickets and their exploding of happiness of their new uh, food despite the fact they smell like shit. When can they explode with like good smelling air freshener, like Febreze, they should make Febreze crickets, um, but anyway, now that I've come back to reality, we are going to, oh look, the mealworms are feasting on the potatoes, um, but yeah, so, this video has been the happy little community of crickets and mealworms, and I'm gonna set that camera down right there while I come and put the 